the only five barbell exercises you need to build muscle mass. Let's go. Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Frank here from the Critical Bench Compound. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk and talk you through the only five barbell exercises that you need to build muscle mass. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through each one of these exercises, provide you a slight instruction on the execution of it, but ultimately what we're here to teach you is the five essential exercises that you're gonna need to build muscle mass. Now, this is gonna be used with a barbell only, so if you're training at home, obviously this is gonna be great for you guys. And I'm even gonna show you what you can do if you don't have this rack here. Uh, but if you're training at a gym, obviously this is gonna be very easy for you to replicate. Now in terms of rep ranges, this is gonna work really with any rep range that you're gonna train with. So it can be a five by five, extremely effective for more mass strength building. Uh, but if you're looking to incorporate a little bit more uh, cardiovascular metabolic training in there as well, just up your rep ranges to maybe 10, 12. Uh, but be, you know, be obviously cognizant of your form and the execution of each exercise. Now with this uh, workout, this is gonna train every muscle in your body. So if you guys are just getting started, you're in the first year, two years of this, these are the five exercises that you need to learn, you need to master, and you need to execute these. And essentially, this is what you need to build a leaner, stronger, more muscular, more powerful, more athletic body. Now the first one we're gonna walk you through, guys, is gonna be the squat. So, like I said, I'm gonna first demonstrate it here coming off of the rack. So just get, you know, just get your hand placement in a nice, comfortable position. Get securely underneath the rack, okay, and lift and then get it off of there. Now find your foot position. Now with a squat, guys, um, I mean, there's, there's tons of videos where we teach you a, a deeper execution, but depending upon, you know, your, your hip width, your, 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 your leg length will, de will determine where you want to keep your foot placement. But you're looking for somewhat of a neutral stance. You know, we're not trying to go super close. We're not trying to go real wide. This is going to be your basic barbell squat. So find a comfortable place to, to, to place your feet. And then we're going to slowly just break at the hips first, down with a slight pause, and then come up, okay? And this is training your glutes, hamstrings, quads, okay? The entire, the entire leg muscles are being trained through this execution, all right? Keeping a strong, tight core. Breathe in on the way down, up on the way out, okay? Now, with you guys that are maybe training at home, uh, perhaps you don't have this rack. Okay, so once you got your plate loaded, you just wanna get in a solid locked position, okay? So all we're gonna do is we're simply gonna clean this and then bring it up over, over our shoulders. Now obviously a lot of you guys aren't gonna be training with max weight, you're not looking to do one, you know, one rep maxes. So just get in a fully kind of locked, secure place, make sure everything is tight. You just wanna bring it up to your chest, okay? And then back and around. Okay, once again, finding a good safe place for your hand position, okay? Break at the hips. Bend the knees, squat down, slight pause, back up. Okay, one more time. Break at the hips, bend the knees, down, back up. All right, guys, before we move on and cover the next four exercises, I wanna share with you this resource that we have. It's 101 Pro Bodybuilding Tips. What this is, is this is exercises from the old school guys. You got your classics like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Frank Sane, Sergio Olivia, uh, Larry Scott. 101 Pro Bodybuilding Tips, guys. These are exercises really taken from these five essentials right here and just kind of expanded upon and give you a lot of different variables. So if you wanna check that, uh, check that program out, it's down there, we're gonna link it up in the first pinned comment. Like I said, it's 101 Pro Bodybuilding Tips. But let's move on guys, let's cover exercise number two. This is gonna be our hip hinge movement or our deadlift. And what this exercise is gonna train is it's gonna hit the back of your legs. So it's gonna hit hamstrings, glutes. It's gonna get your lower back involved as well. Also some of the spinal erectors for stability and support. So what you wanna do is now we have the bar placed on the floor here. Once again, we're looking for a neutral foot placement, okay guys? Not super wide. This is gonna be more of a sumo power lifting build. And not too close, because then you're gonna lose the stability that we're looking for. So get something neutral, shoulder width apart. Okay, bend at the knees, get your, get your glutes down on the floor. Neutral hand placement here. Uh, and and, and for, for the grip, I prefer using a false grip here. So this is just gonna force me to use more of my back as opposed to my arms to brace it. But if you're comfortable doing, doing a regular uh, thumbs under grip, uh, do that as well. There's, there's no real preference here. Uh, but we're gonna grab it, we're gonna get our feet locked on the ground. Okay, secure legs. Grab it, embrace the core. Everything in your core needs to be locked during the entire movement, okay? And then all we're doing is we're looking to hinge at the hip as we come up, okay? Slight bend on the knees, 
back up, drive those hips forward, okay? Not a stiff-legged deadlift, but just an overall full body, lower, back, lower body and back movement, okay? Knees bent, hip hinge forward, drive those glutes forward and squeeze, okay? One more, guys. Brace the core, lock the back in, squeeze, hips come forward, all right? So that's gonna be the second movement, guys. So we've covered squats, we've covered hip hinge or deadlift movement. The next movement we're gonna do is gonna be a barbell row. And this is specifically designed to train your back. Same thing, guys, bar can stay in the exact same place. Adjust the weight depending upon uh, your strength. Once again, we're looking for a neutral foot placement. I'm gonna go with a false grip again. And then as we're slightly just wanna lift it off the ground, keeping your, your chest flat, your core engaged, just rowing to mid core, okay? Squeeze that upper back, bring those muscles and really feel everything contract in there, okay? This movement's also gonna train some of your forearms, gonna train your biceps as well. So this is, as you'll see, we're not doing any isolations for the arms here. Your biceps, your triceps are gonna get trained as secondary movers in a lot of these exercises. All right, so we've covered the first three. We've got squat, deadlift, and back row. The next movement we're gonna do is gonna be the shoulder press. So I'm gonna go back up here, place it on my rack. Now our shoulder press is gonna be done standing. Um, if you have the option to do it, you can do a seated press. By doing it standard, you're just getting a little bit more core engagement involved. Obviously, your legs are gonna have to secure and support your body. All right. Looking for a neutral hand placement here. You don't wanna go too wide. It's gonna limit your, uh, your range of motion. Too close is gonna cause a lot of strain on your joints. So just get a neutral placement. What I like is a lot of bars have these little things here. Uh, symbol showing you where to put your hands. I like to do a middle finger on the bar, okay? So we got it, legs are secure. Slight bend in the knee for support. Don't wanna stay locked knee. So a slight bend, okay? And then just press up, slowly bring it down. Okay, up, slowly bring it down. Breathe, make sure to breathe guys. Okay, and this is really hitting Front delt, front shoulder, medial delt, uh, and then like I said, as a secondary mover, your tricep is gonna get some involvement. It's gonna touch a little bit on your upper chest as well. Okay, so we've got four. The fifth and final exercise is gonna be a bench press. Now we've got this set up here inside of the rack at the compound. Like I said, if you guys are training at a gym, you know, you have the luxury to be able to use their equipment. If you're training at home and don't have uh, a rack or a place to do the bench, you can do an option of a floor press. We can show you how to set that one up here when we're done. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find, okay, a comfortable place, feet securely locked down on the ground. Okay, back is flat, slight arch in the lower back. Glutes locked in, you don't want your, you don't want your glutes elevated off the bench. You just lock them on the pad. Once again, guys, we're looking for kind of a standard neutral grip on the bar, press it up. Breathe in on the way down, okay? Touch the chest if you can. If you can only go here, that's completely fine. We're not, we're not judging you on your, on your range of motion. You wanna go as far as you can go comfortably and safely. Press up, breathe out on the way up. Okay, back down, lower to mid chest. Up, okay, and press. Okay, back down, getting the chest involved, getting a little bit of front delt. Triceps are working as a secondary mover here. All right, guys. And then, like I said, if you don't have that, I'm gonna show you how to do a quick option here on the floor. Okay, so you just need to be careful with doing your setup. If you're training at home and you have a workout partner, this is great for them to spot you and hand you the bench. If not, guys, just make sure you're not working with a weight that's gonna be too challenging for you. But here, back is flat. Feet are securely locked on the ground. Once again, slight arch in the lower back with our glutes and really shoulder blades being the main touch points. Back down. Okay, pause when your triceps hit the floor and then explode back up. Okay, back down. Pause, breathe up. And on the way down, out on the way up. 
All right, guys, so there you have it. The only five barbell exercises that you need to build muscle mass. Hope you guys found this video valuable. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, drop us a comment down there below. What part of this video helped you the most? So we'd love to hear from you guys. But like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, if you're looking for an additional resource, check out that first pinned comment down there below. It's 101 Pro Bodybuilding Tips. Like I said, guys, this is coming from the classics. Arnold, Sergio, Frank Zane, Larry Scott, 101. I taught you five here. Now let's take those five and make it 96 more. 101 Pro Bodybuilding Tips. Check it out in there down below in the pinned comment. But that's it, guys. Frank Rich from uh, Critical Bench Compound. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,